whirlwind, twister, tornado. These violent vortexes can last hours, yet unleash destruction in seconds, leveling homes and sometimes taking lives. With over a thousand tornadoes striking the U.S. every year, more than anywhere else on Earth, it's no wonder they inspire fascination and fear. Tornadoes, powerful spinning tunnels of air, come from thunderstorms, but not just any thunderstorms. Most tornadoes come from supercell thunderstorms. Supercell thunderstorms are tall, dark, and anvil-shaped, powered by a rotating updraft called the mesocyclone. The strongest winds strike near the ground. In a supercell storm, unstable air and wind shear create a spinning vortex. Warm, moist air is pulled up from the ground, while cold, dry air sinks from above. This clash of hot and cold pushes the vortex down and forms a tornado. The strongest winds are 15 feet above the ground, roughly the height of a one-story house. Tornadoes can't be precisely predicted. Only one in a thousand thunderstorms become a supercell, and not all supercells create tornadoes. Where and when they form remains a mystery. Meteorologists can forecast weather conditions, but not the tornadoes themselves. They issue a tornado watch when the conditions are right, like when a thunderstorm becomes severe enough, and a tornado warning once the twister has formed. But its path and strength remain unknown until the damage is done. Tornadoes can happen anywhere, anytime. In the US, the Great Plains is a tornado hotspot. Here, cold, dry, rocky mountain air, warm, dry, southwestern air, and warm, humid gulf air collide. But that's not the only place they strike. Tornadoes hit all 50 states and every continent, except Antarctica. Tornadoes spin counterclockwise, usually. About 98% of the Northern Hemisphere's tornadoes rotate counterclockwise, but some break the norm. They're called anticyclonic tornadoes, and they form when a storm's vertical winds shift, adding a surge of air that flips the spin. Most are short and weak, but on occasion, they can throw debris thousands of feet in the air. Tornado research is a battle against Mother Nature. Studying tornadoes requires guts and luck. Scientists must be in the right place at the right time and be willing to charge into danger to place data collecting sensors. As risky as it might be, scientists continue to fight for research crucial for the future. But for the rest of us, it's important to remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. <laughs>